I want to direct your attention to the fact that Britain did not give way to the United States as a second ruling state before Britain was placed in a situation where she was facing defeat. Germany in the First World War used a new weapon of war never used before. Germany used the submarine. And German submarines had marooned Britain. And Britain had enough food to survive for probably another two weeks. Britain was going to lose the war. Had the United States not intervened. I say this to you so that you would think. The Zionists then went to the United States. Well, first of all, they went to Britain and said, let's make a deal. You're going to lose the war. Let's make a deal. So Britain asked, what do you want? We want Jerusalem. We want the Holy Land. And that's how the Balfour Declaration came out. And then the Zionists went to work and they rode over. What's his name again? They went to the Ford, Ford Moloka. Henry Ford, the most popular American at that time, more popular than the president. And he was opposing American intervention in the war. And yet the Zionists succeeded. And they brought the United States into the war. And so I say to you that in order for Israel to replace the United States, a trap has to be set for the United States. And the United States has to suffer a fall, a big fall, in consequence of which it will be clear the United States can no longer be considered the ruling state in the world. Part of that trap, of course, is the deliberate, pre-planned demolition of the US dollar. The deliberate, pre-planned incremental demolition of the US economy. They're almost at the end of the road now. But I want to ask the question that is there a military trap as well? Maybe that's why Russia and China did not vote veto the first revolution re resolution on Libya that there's a trap being set for the United States. And as they move in, they'll find themselves in a military situation where they're going to be facing embarrassing defeat because they're overextending themselves, overreaching. And then to save the United States, Israel will have to intervene. In the same way that to save Britain, the United States had to intervene.